So I live in Australia and the gold Apple Watch begins at 14,000 Australian dollars and it can reach up to 24,000 Australian dollars. Which begs the question, what else could you buy with a $24,000 gold Apple Watch? So at $24,000 you're still getting the identical specs as a standard Apple Watch Sport. And of course in the usual Apple fashion, the watch will be replaced within 11 months. At roughly $500 for the base Apple Watch Sport, you could pick up 48 of them for the price of a top gold Apple Watch. At $24,000 you're definitely dealing with a lot of money. Here in Australia that amount of money can get you a very decent car. You could grab yourself a Mazda 3 hatch and manual for only $23,892. When you compare the two, you're getting a fantastic deal with the car. You always remember your first Mazda 3. I'm gonna keep on with a car you could travel to destinations, pick up your friends and family, take care of the luggage, drive to work or school and not having to deal with unreliable public transport, all for the same price as a top-end gold Apple Watch. You still have $8 remaining and that could buy you a Big Mac meal at McDonald's. Speaking of McDonald's, how much food could you get for $24,000? Let's imagine a scenario where you're absolutely addicted to McDonald's and you are eating one Big Mac meal every day for lunch. If the price of a medium Big Mac meal was roughly $8, you would be able to get exactly 3,000 of them. That's roughly McDonald's every day for the next 8 years and 3 months. At that time, your health will be in poor condition and you'll probably be having a heart attack. Someone is going to have to take out their iPhone and call an ambulance for you. take out their iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. Ah yes, iPhones. You can't operate your $24,000 Apple Watch unless it is wirelessly connected to your iPhone in your pocket. So the obvious question is, how many of them could you buy off that much money? At launch, a 16GB iPhone 6 costed $869. But a few months ago, it received a price increase as a result of the decreasing value in the Australian dollar. Now, if you want to grab a brand new iPhone 6 to pair with your shiny new Apple Watch, you'll basically have to pay up to $1,000 of your hard-earned cash money. By now, you would know that you could buy 24 of those iPhones for the price of the best gold Apple Watch. Most people consider the iPhone to be very expensive, but when you consider it's one of the best smartphones as well as one of the best smartphone cameras on sale, you are getting a very good deal when you compare it to the gold Apple Watch. But what if you don't want a fancy new smartphone for your Facebook and Instagram? What if instead you were more interested in gaming? Over here in Australia, you can get an insanely good deal at EB Games. You can have a PlayStation 4 bundle with the new Mortal Kombat, Bloodborne, The Order 1886, The Last of Us, and Drive Club for only $598. You could roughly buy 40 of those bundles for the price of one gold Apple Watch. Meanwhile, the price of a new game in Australia is around $100. So if you do the math, that's around 240 games. 240 games is probably enough to satisfy you for the rest of your life. Of course, not everybody is into gaming and many of us would prefer to spend our time and money onto the latest episode of our favourite TV show. Netflix recently launched here in Australia and for $12 a month you can have it in HD with up to two streams at once. For the price of a $24,000 Apple Watch, you can grab yourself 2,000 months of Netflix. So that's your entertainment needs sorted for the next 167 years. Or you can buy a fancy new watch that will be obsolete in 11 months that doesn't even have a full day of battery life and is limited to mostly giving you notifications. Another reason why they might have increased the size of the display is to keep up with the Androids and Windows phones which have had 5 inch displays for quite some time now. So, is the iPhone 6 the perfect phone that Apple makes it out to be? Well, no. Apple being Apple... Doesn't have many games when there's the Mass Effect series, the Halo series, Skyrim, Gears of War, old Call of Duties that you've missed out on and are on sale for less than $10, Fable series, 
Bioshock series. And probably hundreds.